work a bit, you can also. I am the lit. Just <laughs> staring at it. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh. And, yeah, and it's not talking about his actual flesh, it's talking about his truth. That's his flesh, is his truth. Okay? That's right. That's what you gotta eat. Like, some people will read that, they get confused and they start eating the Bible. You know what I mean? <laughs> Which I can't that's why you got from the world. That's why you got them stupid ass Catholics always eat that, uh, this little pea tiny piece of the bread. You ain't supposed to do that, man. That's in the Passover. Great juice. You're supposed to do that in the Passover. I'm going back to Ezra, man. Oh, go ahead. So yeah, man, people can't understand them simple metaphors, man. What the scripture said, I speak to them in parables. Mm -hmm. So the Lord speaks to your ass in a parable. That means you don't want you to understand it. Yeah. Because anyway. if you that damn simple, you don't deserve to understand it. Yeah, but as the scriptures, man, they say y'all bunch of the Lord, oh my fault, the, the Lord said my people is foolish. Mm. He said they are sodish children. Mm. He said they good to do uh, what they wise. To do, to do evil. To do evil. But to do good, they have no wisdom. Yeah. Go ahead. Wine is wicked. The king is wicked. Women are wicked. All the children of men are wicked. And such are all their wicked works. And there is no truth in them. But there ain't no truth out here. The only truth out here is right here. Where we at. In their unrighteousness also they shall perish. As for the truth, it endureth and is always strong. It liveth and conquereth forevermore. So the truth is strong. You can't defeat the truth. That's why anybody come up here trying to ridicule us, they get ridiculed. You know? Mm -hmm. They say will come up with crack jokes and then we hurt their feelings. And then give them nightmares. You know what I mean? Yeah. They go home and have a nightmare after they talk to us. With her, there is no accepting. The, the truth will fuck up your spirit, man. That's right. And it just fuck it. I mean, you can escape us on the streets. I mean, you might, you can't escape the spirit. You can't escape those nightmares. Yeah, that spirit sticks on you. You can't escape the like spirit. Like your skin itself. So yeah, you can dodge us all you want. You can't dodge that spirit. Mm -hmm. That spirit just nag at you constantly. With her, there is no accepting a person for rewards. But she doeth the things that are just, and refraineth from all unjust and wicked things. So we're supposed to refrain from unjust and wicked things. Now for a woman to have more than one husband, that's a, that's a wicked thing. It's a wicked bitch. In America, women have like like hundreds of men. That's just, that's evil. That's wicked. That's disgusting and foul. That's filthy. They um I saw on um, the internet the other day it was some news that the, the porn star Lisa Sparks uh, set a record by sleeping with 990 women in, in 24 hours. What? Yeah, and they was exalting her like she did a great thing, so they put it in the world. God the damn. Book of world's record. So they probably all got the same disease now. That's right. Man, that bitch man probably got so much shit growing on her pussy. Yeah, man. my goodness. She probably don't even look like a pussy anymore. Right, right. You look like her asshole now. I don't get started on that, but these bitches are nasty, man. Yeah, right. But she doeth the things that are just and refraining from all unjust and wicked things. And Look, all men... Oh, this, yeah, these people out here, they're not, they're not refraining from doing wicked shit. That's what the scriptures say. They run to do wicked shit. And all men do well like of her works. Neither in her judgment is any unrighteousness, and she is the strength kingdom, power, and majesty of all ages. Blessed be the most high of truth. Blessed be the power of truth. Yeah, because if we was ruling the earth with the laws of the Bible, everybody would be happy. You know what I mean? There'd be no poverty. It'd be a perfect world. Right, homelessness, you know, childless father. You have, yeah, it ain't like America, you got like a billion laws. Fatherless children. There ain't gonna be none of this shit. None of them. And with that, he held his peace. And all the people then shouted and said, Great is the truth, and mighty above all things. So the truth is mighty above all things. 
So if you think you're special, you're not special. You're not, you're not nothing. Then said the king unto him, Ask what thou wilt more than is appointed in the writing, and we will give it thee, because thou art found wisest. And thou shalt sit next me, and shalt be called my cousin. Then said he unto the king, Remember thy vow, which thou hast vowed to build Jerusalem in the day when thou camest to the kingdom, and to send away all the vessels that were taken away out of Jerusalem, which Cyrus set apart when he vowed to destroy Babylon and to send them again thither. Thou also hast vowed to build up the temple with the Edomites burned when Judea was made desolate by the Chaldeans. Oh yeah, so the Edomites, they pretty much burned, they had a hand in burning down the first temple. And then they burned down the second temple too because the Romans were Edomites. You know, maybe not the soldiers, but the ruling class of the Romans, the ruling elite, the Latins, people that claim to descend from Romulus and all them, mm -hmm. those were Edomites. And now, O Lord, the king, this is the which I require, and which I desire of thee, and this is the pricely liber liber liberality proceeding from thyself. I desire, therefore, that thou make good the vow, the performance, the performance whereof with thine own mouth thou hast vowed to the king of heaven. I'm actually living that, man. Yes, yeah, that's, that's some just that's some history, really. Actually, you can read in the book of First Ezra. That tell you what was, what was going on after the after the, the Israelites returned from Babylon. Mm -hmm. They was rebuilding the kingdom up. You know, they started to build it, build the second temple up. And they was teaching the people the law. Okay, Second Ezra is nine and five. For like as all that is made in the world has a beginning and an end. Oh, so there's a beginning and an end. You know what I'm saying? You got your starting point and your destination. <laughs> <laughs> and the end is made manifest. It's manifest. Oh, so the end is manifest. Soon you about to see the, the, the manifestation of the end. We're living in the end. You about to see motherfucking fiery flames. Mm. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Yes, yeah, so you're going to be seeing a lot of signs in the heavens. Why? Well, people always already bugged down on UFOs. There's UFOs all over the place. People get all bugged out like, oh my God, what was that? You know what I mean? It's like it was following me all, all the way home. Scared to death of them UFOs. Terrifying. And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said peril. So unless you ain't got faith in the Lord according to the Bible, you ain't gonna get saved. You're gonna die. You're gonna be destroyed. And shall see my salvation in my hand and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So the Lord sanctified us before the earth was created. Before the earth was created, already chosen you know what i'm saying we like we was chosen before any so-called religion was ever before created. a star was in the sky yeah before as a star was in the sky we was already chosen mm. you know what i'm saying when the lord created the universe he created us right along with it then shall they be a in pitiful case so yeah so the people all the all you people that don't believe in the bible y'all gonna be in a pitiful case Y'all gonna be looking real pitiful on that day. That's man. right. There ain't gonna be no hairspray around the spray. You ain't gonna be able to brush your teeth. <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to wash your ass. You're gonna look pitiful. You're gonna be I mean, can you imagine that man? They already starting to look pitiful. Ain't no ain't they ain't gonna have no makeup. These hoes gonna be looking, yeah, without that without that makeup, the hoes gonna be looking pitiful. The black bitch ain't gonna be able to get a weed. You know, no weeds. That's a hell of a work. You can't get their nails done. Did her get her nails did. Indeed. <laughs> Talk like them. Get this. Get my nails did. Stupid. And then they raise up. Man, they be speaking that jive talking shit. I know I speak it too, man. But fuck. I don't, I don't talk that goddamn ignorant, man. Right, right. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And oh, they. Yeah, they have. He's talking to abusers of themselves. They just abuse everything. 
Most people walk around high, doped that's up abuse on. That's right there. You doped up on oxycontin. Look at that. That's abuse. All kind of infections rolling in there. Man, these motherfuckers, man, they take so many drugs. They be sticking drugs up their ass. Yes. They stick shit up their ass to get high. You know what I'm saying? These people just fucking weirdos, man. A bunch of fucking freaks. Mm -hmm. I like to be ex to get a good job. You gotta be a fucking faggot in a weirdo. You gotta have big ass discs in your ear. You, know, you gotta have a nose. You gotta have your nose. To get a good job, you gotta have a bone in your nose. <laughs> what do you want? I can't. You gotta come over here. I can't hear you. Some homosexual wants to talk to you. No, he's going to the crosswalk. They've been giving out tickets. No, they've been giving out $90 tickets all day long. Yeah, big faggot. They're like, he wants to blow you off or something. Buddy, enjoy. We're going right back to our uh, secondary. Uh, yeah, because these people, man, they think everything's a joke, man. Like, we just out here, like, we out here passing out flyers or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Trying, man, oh, you, you, you got a place where I can reach you, man. Like, we out here signing people up for something, man. Right. People are just dumb, man. Honest, man. Okay, um. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. So that's a man that just, this describes the majority of these people out here. They walk like look at all these like especially these rich ass white people, man. They have all this money, they have all this food, they have the nicest cars, you go to the nicest houses. Finest books. Yeah, but they're miserable, right? Yeah. But soon they about to lose all that. Man, they don't know the there way. There goes your homie. The Lord gave them that consolation. The Bible said the meat shall inherit the earth. He said blessed are the poor. He didn't say blessed are the rich. He didn't say blessed rich white America. Now these people live in a fantasy land. That's They live in a fantasy land where everybody lives in these little cookie cutter homes up in the suburbs. Can't even tell which streets which every house look alike. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You get and fined if your house don't look alike. It's like all these people, they cookie cutters too. They don't even they don't have their own personality, their own spirit Like a fucking loser. So I call them fucking loser. Hey, people still don't know 9-11 was, was an inside job. Here it is, what, 10 years later or something? They still don't know 9-11 was an inside job. Well, well your, boy, your boy Kevin Smith told the one dude to give up. He told him to give up. Huh? He was like, no, nothing's coming out, nothing's ever going to come out. You might as well just give up. Yeah. <laughs> you know Kevin Smith at the record? Oh, I see Luke Nassau interviewed him about The guy who did Jay and Bob strike back? Or he silenced Bob? Or? He like, you ain't never going to learn shit. Mama son. Yeah, where's your mama son? Yeah, where's mama son at? Speak the power. Now we don't need mama son. Shit, I don't need no third party. <laughs> right, right. 
going through the manufacturer, yeah. gotta go to the retailer. Yeah, fuck Mama's the son. The retailer. Mama's son, <laughs> fuck your, man, she'll fuck everything up. We can just go to the source. Mama's son, get cocked about it. Right, right. But right. like, no, time is up. Right. Time to go to sleep. <laughs> hey, just take We got to go clean up. Like, it, she hit the bitch with a broom. <laughs> the right. They go, James 5-1. Go to now, ye rich men. Weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. So all these all these rich people out here, they're going to weep and they're going to howl. They're going to get fucked up. The Lord's going to get fucked up. Go ahead. Huh? What's up? What? what? We want to talk to you. What? We talking about rich white people. See, but you're not allowed to talk about... Anything, you're not allowed to talk about the rich people or white people. It's a cherish love. Your riches are corrupt, and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. Really, that's talking about America, really. You know, yep. the, the leaders of America, all these congressmen, all these senators, all these businessmen, because Congress, that's, that's all controlled by corporations. The corporations put all their people in there. You know what I mean? So it's really the United uh, a Company of America. That's all it is. Right. America's a big corporation is what it is. And the rest of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasures together for the last days. It's the last days. You're going to laugh when your ass get burned up. When you on fire, laugh at that while your ears are melting off. Laugh at that. When the Lord hits your ass with that fire. Laugh at that shit. Laugh. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud. Now, you want to watch some funny shit, man. Go on YouTube. And search like boyfriend catches girlfriend on fire. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It's a bunch of that's cool as hell. <laughs> man, I'm like, that's so what's happening in Ohio over here, um, 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 east of here, near Jamesville. Motherfucker, come niggas from here. Tied bitch up. Rape, yeah, bitches. they raped her, robbed her, and raped her. Melt a bitch and on fire. Melt a bitch's nose off, melt her ear off. All oh, them ear bitches off. got caught too. Woo, yeah. This shit is awesome, man. I seen this one video. I'm on fire. I didn't even mess you up. I just, cause when these bitches walk by and laugh at us, I just imagine them on fire. Like yeah. their hair up in flames. Yeah. Just reaching out for your hand to help them. Yeah, cause the Lord's gonna destroy them. Like, they gonna be reaching out for us while we get beamed up. Like, yeah, like, sorry. like, 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 <laughs> like, see you later. See ya. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're gonna be getting beamed up while they gonna be on fire. Ella. That's gonna be beautiful, man. I'll take, man, I will take my dog before I take one of these motherfuckers, man. Alright, that's some crazy looking shit. El, El Camino. Like crazy ass hippo. That's a fucking car. monster truck, El Camino. That's a car. That's an El Camino. No, but the El Caminos had to have truck license plates on them back in the day. Damn. <laughs> Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of, of you kept back by fraud, cry it. Oh yeah, every, America is built on fraud. I mean, you look at the whole history of America, it's all fraudulent. Mm -hmm. Like everybody knows the Federal Reserve is fraudulent. But the, the whole country runs, it's a big scam. You know what I mean? When you go to work, they take half your damn paycheck out of your check. Then, the, the, then nobody even has a problem with it. Everybody's good with it. Before the check was printed. Yeah, they take your, that's how they treat y'all like the bitches that you are. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Cause y'all think y'all bad, like I'm going hard. People think they are bad motherfuckers. Well, if you so bad, why you let someone take all that money out your check? Yeah. If you so damn yeah, bad. Do with it as they do. Yeah, these people are pitiful, man. That's right. They're disgusting. And the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabbath. Oh. Ye have lived in pleasures on the earth and been wanton. Ye have nourished your hearts as in a day of slaughter. Ye have condemned and killed the just, and he doeth not resist you. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Yes, so the Lord's about to come back. If you ain't right, you're gonna get burned up. Behold, the husband waited for the precious fruit of the earth and hath long patience for it until he receiveth the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient. Establish your hearts, 
for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Yes, yeah, so the Lord's coming back soon. The one you call Jesus Christ. Who's wrong ancient Hebrew name is Yahweh Shah. Second Peter. Man, you see a lot of Muslims out here, man. You yeah, fucking man. Jedi Knights. That Muslim shit, man, that shit getting out of hand, man. Yep. Yeah, everybody good. That, that goes with what it's talking about because they're good with that, man. Right. Nobody even has a problem with it. Hey, there's some Muslims back there plotting on us. Second Peter's 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. So y'all, y'all, everybody laying back like everything's lovely, lovely and great. You know what I mean? Like, it's a good time out here. Like, everything's okay. Everything's good. No, everything ain't good. Oh, I'm gonna tear that shit back. Look at that, man. Look at that. 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 Look at you check my testicles. <laughs> Medical students, yeah, I need an exam. <laughs> Do you examine yourselves? You like to examine each other? Infections is flowing rampant. But the day of the Lord shall, will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with yes. fervent heat. Don't talk to them. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So the Lord said he's going to burn y'all up. If you ain't right with the most high, if you ain't doing what the Bible said it do, you're going to get burned up. The Lord's going to burn you up. The Lord is going to destroy you. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Yeah, so you ain't supposed to be talking all this bullshit you're talking about. You're supposed to be teaching people the Bible. Okay, we, we don't care about what your own beliefs and your little personal thoughts, okay? Stick it up your anus. Yeah, stick it up your anus. All we teach you is the Bible. That's all you're supposed to teach. That's all you're supposed to talk about, too. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High. Y'all ain't even looking for the Lord. Y'all looking for the next party. Y'all looking for the next high. Y'all women looking for the next pick this up. <laughs> oh, oh, actually, the next, the next man to pimp. Or the bitch to eat. Or the bitch to pimp. No, they love eating pussy. They're carpet hunters. All you always waiting on your, plotting on your next move to go commit adultery. Go sleeping with your neighbor's wife. Being wicked as hell. So the Lord, if you, if you want adultery, the Lord's going to kill you. He's going to destroy you. With fire. Look at this shit. Look at that. There's nothing in this life. shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Well, I said that. The Bible said the heavens are going to be on fire. That's talking about those nuclear missiles. It's, cause soon there's going to be a thermonuclear war. If y'all been watching the news, you should know there's about to be a thermonuclear war. America's about to get attacked by thermonuclear missiles. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth we're in dwell of righteousness. So that's what we're going to establish, what the Lord's going to establish. You know, we're just going to do what the Lord said to do. And he, he chose us, you know, to be the special people. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found in him in peace without spot and blameless. Yeah, so you're supposed to be trying to make, make <laughs> be a better person. You're supposed to be following the laws of the Bible. Not being a faggot, not committing adultery, not eating pork. I know a lot of people out here eat pork. That's why we got all these fat women. That's why I, Michelle Obama, she said obesity is a threat to national security. Hey, she's right. Look at all these fat motherfuckers, man. Everywhere you look, you see a fat person. All they do is eat pork all goddamn day. And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. So that's how, you, if this was a righteous country, they would outlaw pork. But they put pork in everything. They put pork in all the little children's candy. And little Starburst got pork in it. All the little candies have pork in it. Jello has pork in it. 
everything got pork in it. The Bible said don't eat motherfucking pork. Even right. as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom, giveth unto him, hath written unto you, as also in all his apostles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. Oh, that's why a lot of people, they read the Bible, they get all confused. They put it down for it. Yeah, the Bible will confuse you. Especially if you already retarded, you're gonna get confused even more if you read the Bible. That's right. You always got some, some like, woman want to open up Revelation, thinks you're gonna break down Revelation. <laughs> Everything's a Revelation. So yeah. Nothing else. Yeah, no other book, just Revelation. <laughs> That's right. don't even understand it. That's what everybody does. Send yourself into deeper every, every, confusion. A motherfucker will actually pick up the Bible. Let me see that Revelation. <laughs> revelation. I'm gonna get that. Oh, this. <laughs> That's probably the Okay. Which they that are unlearned. But well, we had this one dude tell us that the bottom was pit in Revelation was a woman's pussy. Ooh, he boy, said that was. A, I remember that shit. Which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, and they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. Yeah, because a lot of these scriptures are hard to understand. Like when the Bible says uh, the one you call Jesus, he only came for the lost sheep of the nation, lost sheep of the house of Israel. He only came for the Israelites. But for some reason, that's hard for people to understand. Someone's shining right. lasers on us. Yeah, you! What fuck is shining this shit on us? No, that was like twice already. Like yeah. in the last five minutes. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also being led away with the air of the wicked. And that's what most of these people been led away. They got led right away. Fall from your own steadfastness. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, to him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Yeah, I don't care. I care less. Well, they, you know, I care less. No, I mean. Mess up your retina. It's like, go ahead. Well, let's see, I feel like that. Let's just kick it for me. Anybody can be a Kick it for a minute. What's up, bro? What is the purpose of the Bible? The only way I know how to answer you is through the scripture, bro. You know what I mean? Yep. I'm not going to give you my own opinion. I feel you. Okay. Like, it's about the Bible. Yeah, it's about the Bible. This is. I, I have it. Yeah, I have it. 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 Just one precept I'm going to give you. This is Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. So, it's a commandment. It's a commandment. It is even live. Oh, that's Ezekiel 9. That'll that's break that's the whole deal down so you yeah, check. This is really, this is our job right here. This is our job. We can pull that out of place. That's right. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay, um, this way, this is what the Lord was doing. When Ezekiel, they, when they called Christ, this way he was doing. Right. Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sighed and that cried for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Now the abominations that we're talking to. Homosexuality, running rampant. All around us, yeah. adulterous ass women spreading diseases all around. I mean, come on, we had this university here. Yeah. I mean, I was here at one point, okay. back in you know, back in the early late eighties, early nineties, you okay. know. You and I've seen. Of, you had uh, the devil works for the ladder walk up and down the street. Right. You're gonna be an open satanist, walk down the street with a pentagram on your shirt. That's legal. You can do that here. You worship Satan. Oh. So it shouldn't be accepted by no one. Well, when you see right. it, you're supposed to actually you're supposed to fly out at how do you correct them? Well, all you can do is tell them to like, correct themselves. Just tell them. That's all you can do. I'll read that. Tell them. Yeah, they're breaking down. You know, so if they choose to continue on sticking the rod up their ass, because yeah, you, you know that's unhealthy. Right. That causes infections and diseases. Right. And it's not that you put your dick in one time, that one time. I mean, every time. 
you know, it's unhealthy. I mean, I work in medical too. Okay. And to the others, he says, in my hearing, go ye after him to the city and smite. Oh, uh, yeah, so the first it said we got to put a mark on the forehead of the people to side and cry. I mean, all the people that hate this world. The That's white the man, you know, I mean, you got to face this. The reality is we're last, we're, 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 we're last hired, but we're the first ones fired. You know, in a society like that, you know, a society that they allow this woman to force the father out of the crib with five, ten kids, you know? Most kids but expect to bring another man in, you know? That's a, that's a, that's a, uh, 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 an unorganized society, you know? It's out of order, you know? But this can't continue on forever. But like the scripture says, the things in this book that was written in this book was for us to learn from as an example from things that happened in the past. So, okay, that's cool. Like the things that happened in the past. Like, for example, like Sodom and Gomorrah. The motherfuckers didn't want to stop fucking their horse or their dog or the fags to keep sleeping with each other. They was into all kind of shit. That's the same thing with America. That's a common thing with America, these motherfuckers fucking their dogs. That's a common thing. It's not uncommon, it's common. You know, horses. Go on the outskirts, all these white folks that got horses and shit. There's they get videos. bored, man. They get bored and go out there drunk as hell. That's videos on YouTube. Oh. Yeah, got like millions of views because everybody's really into that, man. They're into it. This is this society we're living in. You get on YouTube, I mean, not, you probably get on the internet. They be like millions of videos of bitches fucking dogs, horses. Your best friend. Oh, your best friend. And that's oh, another thing. That's a good one. How your best friend, you go to work, go to school, whatever. He wait for you to leave, comes in and fuck your wife. And your girl is your wife. You know, ain't no girlfriend. That's silly talk. If you're having sex with that woman, that's your wife. You know, that's the law of the Bible. You're laying down with her, that's your wife. Yeah. As soon as a woman and a man lie together, your spirit becomes one. That's your wife. And so, these women, imagine how many men they slept with. And all them men and all them spirits are there. That's why you look at them and you're crazy as hell. And they can't wait for you to do this crazy fucking thing, you know what I'm saying? And they're not learning, but they quick say, I'm reading the Bible, I don't know the truth. You know, but damn, why aren't you learning from anything? Yeah. You know, but that's why we out here, certain marks in people, man. But it ain't the same mark, you know, the same mark that's in the book of Revelation 13 chapter. There's two marks. That's the mark of the beast. The RFID chip. Y'all heard about the mark of the mark of the beast? That's real. We're in that time now. That's real, dude. That's the mark of the devil. That's the mark of the devil. Has how many thousands of predator drones flying over us? How many do the border? Like 32,000? Some, I don't forget the exact number. So that's enough for all these. All this shit. All this shit. Yeah, technology. Check it out. See, the thing is, that's how the elites got it set up. So when things start happening when there's chaos going on when they collapse the, the world economic system like America collapses its dollar yeah. they, they want it so that you won't have no cash to carry around okay. they're already doing it now with your debit cards and credit cards and stuff like that you know what I'm saying because food stamps used to actually get actual food stamps right so but now they got the car cards that's right yeah. so um, they're saying if you don't take it they're going to kill you you know but the Lord said if you take it he's going to kill you from YouTube you know what I'm saying well, I'm and it's all in the scriptures, it's all in the Bible, you know? It's all in the Bible. Let me read it here. Oh, I was just going to say, the Lord sent a fire on it. That's right. Check this out. That's right. This is Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, 
that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Oh, what's that image? What's that image of the beast? You know what the beast is? First of all, the beast, like the original beast back in the day was the Roman Empire. Now America is modeled after the Roman Empire. It's pretty much just a reincarnation of Rome. So America is that beast. America along with his allies. There's many false prophets. There's many false prophets. There's many false prophets. There, there, there ain't no, like, no myst mythological, mystical character called the Antichrist. Right. There's many Antichrists. Right? Many, many Antichrists. That, that's, that, that's that church, that Hollywood BS. Right. right. I mean, it's not really scripted. Right, right. It's not really scripted. Okay. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive free and bond you motherfuckers free walking around the bond you know that's locked up those people in prisons and jails and shit you know okay um, a lot of slaves uh you know, we know america still runs it was founded by slavery and it still runs on slavery that's right. you know that? Um, yeah, wait, wait, uh, they took the shackles off so they got you mentally mentally you know plus now you a mental slavery but now instead of having a, a black slaves, they got slaves over there in the Pacific Islands. <clears throat> the China, they, pretty, they got Chinese children making uh, smartphones, making uh, making iPhones. The yeah, joy phones that we have. All of your clothes, them, all your like shoes. A a day or something, you know what I mean? Uh, work, working 16 hours a day, making phones. Nothing's made in America. Yeah. These devils walk around proud because you don't see it. It's a system you know? of slavery. Nor are you looking for it. So they can walk around proud, you know, yeah, but the mental slavery is far worse than this. Far worse, far worse. Okay. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Wait a minute, did I skip? No, I sure did. And he calls all both small and great, which are free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. The RFID chip. That's the radio frequency ID identification device yeah. and they've been doing it since, since the 70s they gonna be able to get, get they've been doing it the pets you got they'll be able to get a gps location on you in the phone you know what i mean where if you can't hide you can't hide, hide. and he'd be right there like where, where's this guy at pop him up on the computer yeah. It'd be like, like, video game. It'd be like exterminate. They, some people say, a lot of experts say they might even be able to kill you and give you a heart attack just by the pushing a button because that chip. That's right. That's right, young man. So it's like people that actually have chips. Yeah, people that have that. like Jay Z. These people already got it. Beyonce. They got chips. Michael Jordan. The military's Jim already Washington. got it. Y'all know over there in California. Wesley Snipes. Over there in California, uh, what do they call that Silicon Valley? A lot of people have. Uh, tech jobs, like computer programmers. They work at these giant computer companies. Mm -hmm. But they all got the high tech shit. They get in the building, they gotta have chips. You got to, just to get in the building. And the, and the elevator in those buildings, you know? Yeah. There's a video Log on to your computer. Joe. There's a video. Log, oh, yeah. What video is that? I can never remember the name of it, though, but it's like a video it. by it's Pat on, Joe. Is it on YouTube? Yeah, it's That's on YouTube. Old it's, video. Video. it's an old video. It. It's like seven years they, old. They got new shit out now, though. They yeah, done, right. They right. Step that. that technology is on a whole nother level. So now. it's these athletes, congressmen, these policemen, you know, they, I mean, it's going to be, it's what they're doing right now. They're creating the scenario where you, they can force it on, where they, you don't have to have a, be sitting at home. Let me, man, let me think, man. It's not going to get that chip or not. What these devils is doing, they're creating the situation where you have to go do it. And that's what's going to happen, you know? Like, like, yeah, if they get a house like a... Single, and it's going to happen. Like a single mother, she got a bunch of kids. She, she's probably going to take the chip. She's going to have to, because that single woman... Yeah, she's going to... Unless she's righteous. She, she can't eat, man. You hear that baby? You ever heard a baby crying, man? I mean, just crying. And it just... And you don't know why, but it's just crying. It kills the brain, don't it? Now, imagine when these times come, and it's about to happen, because remember, half over half of the U.S. had a family. And it's gonna affect the food prices. They want very, they had a real low crop yield. That's right. It's gonna affect the food prices now. So all this is set up. It's all designed for this to happen. The elite banking thing is designed for this to happen. And it's not gonna be a warning sign. You're not gonna see it coming. You should see it coming now because well, I'm actually, telling you. It's, it's pretty obvious. Right. It's obvious now. 
but it's person is telling you it's been coming. Right. They're telling you it's coming, but no one's listening for it though. But like I said, it's just gonna happen. It's just gonna spring on us. There ain't gonna be no warning. They're not sending no text messages. They're not going on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? It's just gonna happen. Sudden. And that's the family that the Lord's talking about when you go to the book of uh, the 24 Kings just go to. This is the Lord speaking here. The Lord himself. It's gonna be a physical famine and a spiritual famine. Right now, we gotta read this truth, you know? Right. Because this truth is like truth, man. It's like good news. This is the only thing that's gonna save you, you know? And it's going to happen. If the Lord said it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Okay, let me read this. Um, okay, this is Matthew 24, I'm gonna start at four. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And that's why these churches are set up to deceive and keep you asleep. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come. He said these things must come to pass.